Yeah, I have to take all the styrofoam and everything off. Yeah, with that styrofoam on the corners. Happy Saturday and welcome back to another weekly vlog. Uh, as you can tell, we are down at the cabin already this morning. It is a glorious morning. It's kind of overcast, but it's warm. Hasn't rained yet. Oh, I literally just felt a sprinkle on my hand. That's so funny. Um, but it's been a really exciting morning. We just got the new refrigerator and stove brought into the cabin. Um, I'm filming back here because we do have a family staying here um, for the weekend and they were so sweet and they helped us move everything. I'm like, you guys, you don't have to help us. Just chill, you know, enjoy your family time. And they, they're like, it's the least we can do to help you guys. So they were so, so sweet to get us, help us get this moved in and the old refrigerator moved out. So anyways, welcome back to another weekly vlog. Of course, this one is going to be jam packed full of Airbnb content. Um, we're hoping that we can get in here before the rain hits and work on some cabinet doors and things like that um, and just get stuff put up. So I'll do a little bit of vlogging, not a ton today, um, just to respect this family's privacy and stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, we're excited and I cannot wait <laughs> to get this, you know, kitchen settled because I think that'll just <sighs> be a little bit of a relief getting the kitchen settled because it's, it's very important. People need to cook their meals, you know? So anyways, Welcome to another weekly vlog. Didn't do it again. Tried to remember last week. Forgot. Here we go again. Uh, my name is Ivy. <laughs> Welcome to my life. It is crazy. It is busy. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, thanks for tuning in and let's go. Let's get started on this week. The kids are getting the plastic all peeled off the front of the fridge. Such a satisfying thing. We still got to put the handles on. The stove's over there all wrapped up still. But it's coming together. It's exciting, guys. All right, so we're in progress. We're trying to take this off. Scotty's Rage Monster is coming out for sure because the, the screws keep stripping. But we're going to cut this corner off and move the, the countertop all the way down to this end. We have also taken off that shelf on the wall, moved both the stove and the fridge to that wall. Not exactly sure that's how it's gonna stay, but I like it way, way, way better than having the stove over there. Cause once we put the fridge in, it was too tight. So when we had the stove over here, the fridge came to like right, like the stove came to here and the fridge came to here. So it was like, there was no room to get in there really to, to cook. So this is a much better option for the moment, give you a wide angle look. Uh, I did wipe the floor, it's just stained on the concrete, I promise. And that means we don't have to take those shelves down, which is, act which is actually a good thing because we need it for storage for camp. All right, guys, we're done for the day. There's Mama and Scotty, they did most of the work, honestly. <laughs> Uh, I had to go get Riley from ball practice and stuff, so I was gone for a little bit and sign up Aiden for baseball. So anyway, we are done for the day. A ton of stuff has gotten accomplished. I am in love, so let me just show you what all we've gotten done today. All right, so we'll just start up here at the front of the house. Um, the only thing we added was we hung up that picture. I put the little mirror thing on the desk the other day, and then this podium my dad had made ages ago. Um, we use it for camp, but I don't want to store it so it will get messed up. So anyway, we've got it over here. I think I'm going to go ahead and put our guest book on that. Um, and then turn around. We hung up that picture. Our guests' um, things are still out, so we didn't touch any of their things. Um, hung up that picture. Scotty did. And then nothing's changed in here. Set out a few things. This is where kind of our... Um, information center if you will and that basket is going to be like the brochures for things to do in the area um, our binder will be here of just information about the property and everything and then over here I brought a hamper um, to put wet towels in and then we hung that picture up there and then in the bathrooms I haven't even shown you guys the bathrooms but we've got fresh towels in there just a few like you know things that they might need um clark's wipes and air freshener got the hand soap put out 
Same in this bathroom. I'll spare the light, but towels put out in there. And then in here is where the majority of the change has happened. We hung up that cabinet. Let's move over to this side. Uh, yeah, we hung up that cabinet. We cut that corner off, that wonky corner over there, and moved that down. So now, wow, even more room in this area. We moved the bulletin board over there. Set up our little coffee station over here. We brought down some K-cups and we got the Keurig cleaned up and put over there. And then turning around, ta-da! We've got the appliances over here. So we're gonna try and find some kind of something to put there and then there's still plenty of room to get into the deep freeze. Um, I am picking up some cabinets today so I'm hoping it will fit there but at the same time also, I don't know if I want to put it there or not. So um, let's see, what else? Lastly, we put the curtain hooks up there to draw those curtains back and just kind of cleaned. We cleaned and organized, um, wiped down all those shelves, moved all that stuff. That's the life jackets for them to use. We cleaned and organized that and we cleaned and organized that. So we are definitely getting there. There is still a lot to do. Oh, we took the, that brown wooden shelf was on the wall here. We took it down. Um, there's still a lot to do, but we're getting there and it's very exciting. So, um, our guests did leave for a while this afternoon, but I think they're coming back this evening. So we're trying to hurry up and it's almost dark. So get finished up and out of here so that when they head back, we're not here. They can just enjoy their time, family time together. Um, they live, um, some of the siblings live close, so I think they went over to their house. Anyways, does that matter? No, it does not. Oh, one more thing. I got three-way bulbs. Yay. Um, there's a blanket basket now. So over there in the corner for the throw blankets. So I'm just going to turn these lamps back on because it looks so cozy like I showed you guys at the end of yesterday's vlog. Oh, look how cozy it looks with the lamps on. It's so exciting. I love it so very much. I think one last thing we might do for them tonight is we didn't bring the DVD player and DVDs, so we might run those back down here in just a little bit. So anyway, that is, that, that is it. So here, here's the crew. They have worked super duper hard. <laughs> they're, I don't know, they're, they're chatting about deer or something. I don't know what they're saying. Okay, that's it guys. Sit with the enemy. Oh, we moved up so she had a spot to sit. Let's go, Aiden. Good teamwork. Oh, man. Oh, we're in bonus. Happy Tuesday. Uh, I was just like, I don't even know the last time I have vlogged in my classroom. Um, it's been a while. It has been very heavy Airbnb content. Um, but I am still working and doing all those things too. So anyway, um, I haven't hardly vlogged all this weekend. Really wanted to vlog yesterday because, oh, I did, I filmed Aiden's ball game. It just ended up being like super busy day at school and then had Aiden's ball game and stuff last night. So it was just like boom, boom, boom. And I paid church bills as soon as I got home from school. Didn't get it done. Finished that when I got home from the ball game late last night. 
Anyway, it was a busy day yesterday. But the reason I wanted to film yesterday is because it was March 7th and that was Kinsley's birthday. So Kinsley is the big number six now, like big girl. I can't hardly even believe that she is six years old. Like it just blows my mind. So happy birthday, K girl. Happy birthday. So I will definitely be after her birthday when this comes out. It'll actually be on her birthday party day when this comes out. But anyway, that is enough jabbering. I just want to pop on here and say, hey, just went and got my lunch. Um, I got a chicken salad and then, not a chicken salad. What is this thing? A chicken sandwich and a little side salad. I had the option to get some chicken on my salad, but I didn't. I just wanted some fresh veggies. Like we've started getting salad bargain. All the pandemic stuff is starting to finally level out. The kids are eating back in the lunchroom. We get salad bar. It's been very nice. So anyways, just wanted to show you guys my I think healthy-ish little lunch that they have provided for us today. So I know I'm probably in the minority, but I really like school lunch. I do. Like every time I eat something, I'm like, man, it's exactly like it was 20 plus years ago when I went to school here. But anyways, there's my little lunch. Um, got a busy afternoon today as well. Uh, speaking of Airbnb stuff, um, got to go take back those plates finally, if you remember from last week's vlog. So I'm going to go to the Dollar Tree. And then I've got to pick up a grocery order. Too busy last week. Did not get groceries. So picking up a grocery order today. And then both kids have practices tonight. So busy day today. And I will bring you guys along as much as I possibly can. Hey guys, it is later. I just got home from picking up my Walmart grocery haul. Uh, Walmart grocery haul? Walmart grocery pickup. And just filmed a haul. That's what I meant to say. Uh, I noticed halfway through filming that I still have my school lanyard on. <sighs> Guys, it's just crazy right now. So I mentioned in that haul, which this will go out way before that one at this point, but I'm moving back to the one month, um, one upload per month on grocery hauls. Um, I'm still loving grocery hauls. You guys are still loving grocery hauls. They're all going to be small like this for the unforeseeable future because softball starting back up, basketball starting back up. Um, it's, 7.30. I just got home, set this out, filmed it. I still haven't made dinner. Like this is the state of our life right now. Plus the Airbnb plus and plus and plus and plus, right? <laughs> okay. You get what I'm saying. So, um, that's just, what's going to be best for us in this state of our lives is to just do a one month grocery haul. So sadly that mean, means a grocery haul did not go up Thursday. Yes. Cause it's Tuesday. That's another thing. I am behind. I'm mean, you normally get my groceries on Thursday and film it on Thursday and then have a whole week to upload it. It's Tuesday. I didn't even pick up till today. So what's I going to do? I was going to put this milk away. Um, anyways, so that's that in case you wondered where I have been and where I go. And if you have not, um, been watching my weekly vlogs, but you popped in here to see what's going on and why I haven't uploaded, um, a grocery haul. Ah, my brain. Uh, that's why. That's why. Um, okay, can I talk to you for a second? Interrupt my own self. We bought these little Coke miniature cans. Wow, what language am I speaking right now? Um, Coke Starlight Miniature Cans Limited Edition. Y'all, they're good. They taste like... Um, Cotton candy. They taste like cotton candy. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm losing my mind. Okay, what else was I going to show you? But they're really, really good. So we've almost drank all of them. But if you want to try them, I suggest it. They're really good. And then the, the guests that we had staying at the camp this week. Camp. Comp. Well, what am I saying? I'm so sorry. Muddling through this. My fast forward a couple minutes until I'm done with this scene. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Anyway. Mercy sakes. The guests that were staying at the camp over the weekend were from all over the country. Um, it's like a guy we know's family and they were all coming in to visit with him. I don't know if I told you everything. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. One of them is from Minnesota. Is Minnesota, is that right? Does this tell me where it was made? I don't know. I think Minnesota. Scotty can correct me in the comments or something. But um, Verner's, the original, it says the original ginger soda. Verner's ginger soda. Anyways, he brought like eight cases down for all of his family members because apparently they all love it. Um, 
And so he's like, oh, you guys got to try this. It's so good. We all love it. All the family loves it. So we drink one and we're like, oh my gosh, it is. It's so good. Well, then when we were leaving the last night we had seen them, we're like, oh, by the way, we tried that. Yeah, it was really good. Thank you so much. That, that was awesome of you to share. And he's like, take a case. He's like, I, have, I brought eight. You know, you guys take one. So he sent a case with us. So that was really fun. And it's really good. So I don't know what we're going to do when it's out because... Scotty and I both really enjoy it. I'm not sure if Riley tried it. And it wasn't Aiden's favorite, but I think ginger ale is kind of a, an adult thing anyways. So, okay. You guys are probably car sick from me running around my house, putting no groceries away. I'm going to make some tacos for dinner. I have 3% battery on my phone left, so probably going to die anyways. Um, I have a short Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys. I'll do that after dinner. Oh, and I've got some packages that came in the mail, two from Walmart and my Usborne books from a book party. So ah, lots to share with you guys here in a little bit, but I'm going to charge my phone, make some dinner. I'll see you in a minute. Okay. I was just throwing this box away and realized it says a Michigan original since 1866. So I thought it was on the box, but I wasn't positive. Anyway, Michigan mystery solved. All right, guys, dinner is done. Basketball is on. No one is in here watching it. Turn the TV down. Good grief, it was on 30. Uh, anyways, Aiden was going to watch his friends at a basketball game, so he was trying to find that game to watch it, and it's not on TV. Uh, I feel like yeah, I'm right here on you guys. Uh, Dollar Tree haul. I'm going to show you the few things that I got from Dollar Tree. So the reason I even went to Dollar Tree is because I took those plates and bowls back that I bought last week, those clear ones. So my friend Sky told me that you can't just get your money back. They give you store credit. Totally fine with that. Y'all know I buy stuff at Dollar Tree all the time. Well, it's not just store credit. Sorry, Sky. Nothing towards you whatsoever. Uh, maybe your store is different. I don't know. Um, but you have to just exchange it for something else, which is still kind of okay. But I'm like, so I got to go, you can't just give me a gift card or something. They're like, no, we have to exchange it and it can't be a food item. And I was like, okay. So I was like, I'm just, I'll go get what I'm fixing to show you, you know, these things I need, other things that I need for the Airbnb. And I was like, so I got to go find like 30 things right now. And she's like, well, you could bring back one thing at a time as you buy stuff. And then we would just swap it out. I'm, like, I'm not going to bring back 30 plates one at a time. Oh, it's the silliest thing ever. But they told me it can't be a food item. And I said, is candy considered a food item? And they're like, yes. And then I get to the register and they're like, oh, well, you could have done food as long as you didn't use food stamps. I'm like, that is not what I did. And that's not what you told me. But anyway, I had to get candy from my class. So here are all the things that I picked up. All right. So here's all the things I picked up. I got almost all the soaps that they had. So... Um, this is the one I really, really liked cause it's, you know, not too feminine. And I thought, you know, this is a good one that either male or female guests could enjoy, but they did not have very many of them. So just like this many of them. So Riley and I smelt the vanilla sugar and it smells very nice. And then also the cherry blossom. So of course they are a little more feminine, but We'll still use them up, I think. So that is, of course, the majority of the things that I picked up was the soaps and shampoos and things. Um, and then I also got this little basket to put. Um, I got those, like, bag clip things. So I'm going to put these in, put those in there and put them on a shelf in the kitchen. Grab one of these um, just silverware sorters so that we could have it. I don't know if I'll use it or not, but... Um, I got those cabinets the other night, um, and they had some drawers, so we might put silverware in them. I'm not exactly sure yet, but I went ahead and picked one up just in case we do that. I got some more of these bins for the little toy organizer shelf. I had three, and after I got them on there, I'm like, yeah, I think I want to go ahead and put three more in. I was going to just put random toys on the shelves. I think I'd rather them be contained, so picked up three more of those. And then candy. I had to get all this stuff for my classroom. So I have candy every Thursday. I was getting a little bit low, not super duper low, but I can put like half of each of these in my pack and hopefully it'll last me for two weeks. We'll see. And then my next reward on the Mrs. Ivy's classes popping is Pop Rocks. 
and one of my classes has already achieved that. And so I went ahead and picked up, they did it like Friday. So I'm really far behind getting them their reward. Um, but I have other classes that are hot on their heels. So they're going to have a reward coming up soon. So I went ahead and picked up Pop Rocks for all of my students so that I have them and they're ready for when those kids meet their reward. Okay, so there's all that. So next we're going to open these packages together. But Scotty just brought my tripod in out of his truck. There it is. So I'm going to set this up real quick and open this stuff up with you guys. Got some weird shadows here, but this will work. So I'm actually going to move this up to this chair. Okay, so first off, um, I ordered some books from my friend Cindy's um, Os Os Osborne, I don't know how to say it. I think they call it UBAM, Osborne book party. And um, I got some for my class, of course. Um, I have a lot of boys that like more adventurous stuff and I don't really have that kind of book in my classroom. And so I had to double check as I was going. So I had opened the Usborne site and then I had opened the um, Accelerated Reader site because I had to make sure that the books I was buying were testable because my kids, if you guys have been watching a minute, you know they want books that are testable. So I went ahead and grabbed the first three books in this series, um, Extreme Adventure. So, um, I don't know which is book number one. Does it have, oh yeah, book number one, two, and three. So, um, Crocodile Attack, Bushfire Rescue, and Shark Bait. Seems like Australian or something. I wonder if they are like an Australian company. But anyways, I think the boys in my class are going to really enjoy these. A lot of them have moved to chapter books. I'm glad to see that this is somewhat big writing. It might not be too intimidating for them to pick it up and read. Hopefully the covers alone will be exciting for them and they will be interested in these. So anyway, picked up those to support my friend's party. And then of course, you know, bonus, my boys get to read some books. Okay, the next two things are for the Airbnb. So I got curtains and bedding in these. Not sure if I'm gonna love the curtains or not. I need to get down there and like give them a, a look <laughs> and see. I'm just having a really hard time with curtains. And I just don't know. They looked a lot better online. <laughs> I don't like this. Scotty's looking at them from across the room. Oh, it feels nice. Yeah, because everybody will be feeling curtains. I don't know. I don't know. It's too busy, I think. It looked a lot more subtle online. I don't know. We'll have to get down there and look at it with everything just my sister had found some really affordable ones at not a flea market pawn shop at the pawn shop and they're fine um Scotty, will you grab a pack of those they're just a little dark and like she said that when she brought them to me she's like oh, i don't know if you're gonna like these they're a little bit dark and they are they're a little bit dark for what we were wanting so I tried to find something lighter, but these aren't lighter. I mean, I feel like they're different. So these are the ones, the color's coming through pretty good. It's almost a mustardy, but it's not. Like it almost looks mustardy on the camera, but it's it's more of a gold. I don't know, we're just gonna have to take all these down there and see what looks good. Uh, curtains have been a pain in the booty to find. Like you just, I can't find the actual size we need at all. Like it doesn't exist. So we all know how to sew, my mom, my sister, and I. So we were looking for panels a size that we could like cut in half and cut down and then use on multiple windows and stuff. Which this would get multiple windows. These would get multiple windows as well. <sighs> it's just been a pain in the booty to find the right curtains. But we're running out of time, frankly. Um, so we need to just decide on something. But we'll get down there in a day or two. Maybe Thursday evening. And we'll have to give them a try. Okay, this next thing is bedding. Hopefully it's as pretty as it was online. My mama actually paid for this. She wanted to do something to contribute. And um, she had gotten a gift card for probably her, I think she said her birthday, which was June, that she's not spent yet. 
So she said, here, take this gift card and buy some bedding. So I sent her this. She liked it. I like it. It's very, oh, it is. It looks pretty. It's kind of neat. I don't, you can't really see it. I'll have to insert a picture on the screen or something. I'll try and screenshot. But it is a kind of an almondy color. Really pretty. It's a bedspread and two shams. Um, so I think it's going to look really nice down there. With that dark bed and the dark furniture, I think this will help lighten it up just a little bit. So anyway, fingers crossed it looks good down there as good as I hope that it does. So anyway, sorry that this package doesn't show you much about it. You kind of see the detail work on it. Okay, that's it. That's all the stuff I've picked up and ordered and gotten in within the last couple of days. So all that, it's been a, it's been a long day. I'm super duper tired. I'm going to go take a shower and I'm going to go to bed. Good morning. Happy Thursday. Uh, yes, it is Thursday and Scotty and I are together. So we took the day off because we, um, we needed doctor's appointments. <laughs> So we have finally had to face the fact that we're getting older. I'm going to be 40 this year. He's going to be 39. Um, and we just need to go to the doctor. Like we really need to get a healthcare or health. What is it called? The PCP established and go to the doctor. So um, we made appointments on the same day. This was the day they could get in. So yay. But it also works out in our favor. We went ahead and made our tax appointment for this day. And... What else? Oh, you made a haircut appointment for this day. So we are just going to go do all the appointments today. And we're going to go to Sam's Club and get stuff for the Airbnb. Run around town and get like brochures and stuff of things to do to put to be available for the Airbnb. And then it's supposed to snow tomorrow. So we need to just try and get as much stuff done as we possibly can while we are off today. So anyway, our appointments went really good. Uh, I had lab work done. He, we didn't know we were going to get lab work done. So he had ate, eaten breakfast. I did not. Um, so they were able to do mine. And y'all, I do not do labs well at all, ever. Since I was in high school and tried to give blood and almost passed out, it just hasn't been a good thing. Like through all the blood I had to give, having babies and the IVs getting put in, it's just never been good. When I tell you this girl was incredible I'm not even exaggerating like she had me stuck and my blood drawn and a bandage on me before I could even think about it she was talking me up keeping my mind busy like it was just the best experience I have ever had having blood drawn and I know that seems silly to somebody but like Scotty was even like wow <laughs> it was impressive like I was really grateful because I hate that feeling where like you just get the cold sweats and you just feel super woozy it was a good experience so anyway um, that's what we're doing today we will bring you guys along with some of it who knows what we're gonna be able to show you because um, you know me I tend to forget that I'm filming and like get halfway through something like oh yeah I was gonna film this uh, but Anyway, come spend the day with us. All right, so we got the goods. We just kind of picked up a ton of stuff because we really didn't know what all we wanted. So I just picked up a bunch of stuff. But they had stuff for like Eureka Springs and Branson and other places in our area. So that was really exciting. Um, like Scotty said, though, while we were in there, he's like, I definitely, or after we had left, not in front of the people that were there, but like, we definitely want to load. No, what am I trying to say? Highlight our local or businesses like Pea Ridge and um, like there's a local brewery down by us, our friends. I say friends, like they are our friends, but we're not like super close with them. But anyway, people we know own it and operate it. And so definitely want to send people their way and help out their businesses and our favorite restaurant in Pea Ridge, Victoria's and stuff. So we'll pick up things for them as well. But like people that are coming to this area for bike trails and stuff like that, I want to make sure we have that stuff available too. And like, We've said it multiple times. I don't know if I've said it in the vlogs, but like when we go, when we stayed in Colorado, we stay outside of town because it's cheaper and it's um, outside the hustle and bustle. We get us away from all of that so we can actually rest too. But then we drive into town every day and do all the things. He's showing us this race car thing. Hang on. Oh, you can see it. Yep. Thanks. Cool. It's really cool. It's like a 
kind of an automobile museum type of thing, but I think it's just somebody's house. I don't know. Um, this is a dead end, babe. Well, I wanted to drive by the race car. So <laughs> okay. We will turn around. Okay. Um, we'll get to see the race car again. Okay, it'll be on my side this time. So, anyways, I know people will come into town for this biking stuff or whatever. But they can, you know, stay at our place and just come back into town and go biking or whatever. So, she also said her, was it her daughter? Owns four Airbnbs in this area. And she is completely booked through August already. So, it's like, okay, well, if all these places in town are going to get booked up, of course, they're going to start overflowing into our area. So, hopefully, that's good for our business. So, anyway, well, I'll turn the camera around and show you guys this race car. You're gonna just drive by it super fast now? No, I was gonna turn there. Hope you saw it. I had to film it fast because there was a car there, so we had we couldn't stop and look at it. So you can slow down the footage. Like, okay. Epic slow mo. Epic slow mo with like epic slow mo music video over it. Or, yeah. yeah, music, not video. Oh goodness. Okay, well on to our next stop. What, what else? I don't know. Where are we going? You got a haircut in one hour, so we could go eat lunch. Are you hungry? I could eat, I guess. Okay, we're going to figure out what we're going to do. So we came to this place, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like resell stuff from Sam's Club, like Overstock or something. And it's like, everything's priced. There's like a yellow sticker, or a, what color is that? Orange sticker on it. And everything's 40% off of that. Um, and so we popped in here looking for outdoor furniture, but I have found, it's that thing right there, um, twin size matching blankets, which I did not have. And I found another, I've got it right there, queen size. Um, bedspread set so we'll have backup so if we have back-to-back -back guests we can just completely change over the bedding and be good to go so anyway I just wanted to vlog in here really quick because we, we, like I said we just stumbled on it thinking it was gonna be big stuff but it's everything anyway all kinds of stuff I'm fixing to grab a really cute skirt that I found so I will do a little haul when we get home of all the things we picked up today but as you can see I've got pillows and sheets and blankets, so we're getting some good deals. I'm really excited. So, we just took $100 to put gas in our car, and I'm not even going to say fill up our tank, because it did not, I'm sure. Well, there's still a little bit of space between the needle and the full line. Yep, did not even fill up our car. $100. It's 401 at Sam's Club, which means it's actually 406 because it's got a five cent discount. <laughs> so expensive. Okay, we're going to run into Walmart because Scotty needs some um... drugs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was going to say ibuprofen, but I you can't take ibuprofen. Aspirin. Good grief. Tylenol. And then we're going to go to Sands Club, but we just went and got our taxes done. That is always such a joy. Um, I say that both jokingly and literally because our, we love, love, love our tax lady. Um, so it is a joy to get to spend time with her. Sorry, this lighting is horrible. Um, but it's never fun to have to deal with taxes. So anyways, she makes it definitely bearable because she's such a sweetie. Okay, so I'm ready to Walmart. Then we're going to go to Sands Club. <laughs> Alright guys, we made it down to the lake. It is uh, 6 o'clock on the dot. And so we got about an hour before we have to go pick up our kids. My phone's about dead. So we're unloading all the stuff we can unload right now. And then I just went up and took pictures of the playground. 
So now I'm out of breath from walking. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna make the bed with this new bedding just so I can take pictures and finally get final pictures uploaded. Holy moly. Okay, what else are we gonna do? Oh, take a picture of the fireplace thing, fire pit outside. So we got, well, hang on, I'll show you. Okay, fastest haul in history, just so we can get this stuff done. Um, from that place, the liquidator place, um, we got this bird feeder. Um, and we can confirm it is the exact same price as Sam's Club, because we saw these at Sam's Club, except it was in a box, and this was not. But it was $32.99 at Sam's Club. We got it for 40% off at that other store. Same with these pillows. We got this one, I guess because it was ripped open, at the liquidator place, 40% um, off. Then we bought the exact same thing at Sam's Club for $12.97, $12.98, something like that. And then we picked up four of these chairs just because we don't have any outdoor furniture. So we wanted to grab those four chairs just to have outdoor seating. And then I kind of barely showed you guys these, but we just got some gray comforters for, man, it's so soft. I didn't even feel it in there, super soft. And I bet they'll fluff up really big after they get washed. But two of those for the twin beds and then this really pretty blue comforter for the queen bed, and then some twin sheets so that we have plenty of extras of everything. Is this all we got? I think so. And then quickly, I was gonna show you guys these cabinets we got the other day. I kinda think you, I showed you, but I didn't have the things in them. So that's where like extra bedding is going to be stored in there, and then we'll go in the kitchen. And then we moved that cabinet. So when we first put it in, I'm pretty sure I showed you guys that. We put it between the stove and the fridge. I was thinking because it was like tall, tall, and then short, but that goes too far back, so it didn't look very good. So this looks really great. So we'll put the shelves in there, and then that'll be for like pots and pans. And then like I said, from the Dollar Tree, I grabbed a silverware thing. So we might put silverware in these drawers because right now, silverware are in those tubs just all mixed together. So not exactly sure if we're gonna do that or not, but that's kind of the plan. Maybe put silverware in one and then like serving utensils in the other. Okay, so that's that, that's the haul. So now we're gonna make some beds, take some pictures, and be done. <laughs> Go get the kids, I guess, probably. So um, I'll just show you after, cause I don't want a time lapse. You guys are probably sick of time lapse, so I'll just show you the afters. All right, my phone is almost dead. So uh, here is the after with the beds made. Looks super good. We really like the color scheme. Scotty's like, that's a very gray bunk bed, but it is what it is. I think it looks nice with all matchy matchy. And then we also have that really pretty beige set. So we'll be able to switch back and forth between our sets. So it'll match nicely with the couch and just the light color schemes that we kind of have going here. So there's still a few things left to do. Like Scotty was just, he just did a Snapchat and everything, but I've got to get these pictures uploaded so we can start getting more bookings. All right, guys, we are home. We've picked up the kids from their events. Aiden's fixing to feed the dogs, so it'll be loud here in a second. But I wanted to show you the clothing items we got from that liquidator store that I was talking about. It's called like TF, what was it called, Scotty? TF Liquidators? I don't even remember. I don't remember what it was called. Um, something like that. So anyways, all of these clothes and we got there for super duper cheap. So I'll walk you through these here in a second. I feel like we are living in a nightmare at the moment because all this laundry is from down at the cabin that we need to get washed up. So... I don't think I've said it, but it's fixing to snow, not fixing to, but it's dropped like 20 something degrees since this afternoon and it's supposed to snow overnight. And so if we have a snow day, I'm going to have a laundry day. Ignore all the boxes too. Riley got softball gear in the mail. Oh, it's been a crazy couple of days. Okay. Let me show you what we got. Okay. Minus the remotes, of course. Um, we got all of this stuff right here. So Aiden doesn't even know this yet, but I got him a pair of champion shorts and these were $2 and they are like brand new, nothing wrong with them, champion shorts. Um, so he will definitely wear the heck out of those. Okay, that's good, that's just fuzz. Um, and then I got myself a pair of Members Mark leggings. These were $6. It had, it said all the clothes were $6, but then these were on a separate shelf and they were only the $2. But anyways, I got these leggings for myself. They are really soft and comfortable and they've got pockets and all the things. Thank you, Aiden, I didn't even notice that was open. And then um, grabbed these joggers for Aiden. They are Hurley brand. 
Um, again, only $6. <laughs> so that is really good. So long joggers. He's like excited about them. I got you size 14, 16. Is that going to be too big? Probably not. I mean, not really. Yeah. I mean, you're 12, but you're a big 12. So, and then grabbed these for Riley. They are Arkansas Razorbacks joggers, but they are also champion brand. Again, six bucks. So that's super duper cheap for those. And then for myself, I got these two things. So this skirt says, ignore that it says 2XL. Um, they did not have a large or extra large. And I really liked this print. So I figured I would at least go big and then I can take it in if I need to. But anyways, MSRP is $79. Like I doubt Sam's Club sold it for $79, but I paid $6 for it. And then this coat, which is free country, which we've bought stuff there before that was free country. Um, very similar coat we got Riley. I think we paid $30 for it, but, um, this is MSRP of a hundred dollars and I paid 15. So he said he had to ring that up as a jacket, even though it said all clothes and this was on the rack with all clothes for $6, but it is what it is. $15 is still not bad. And then Scotty got these Crocs because his Crocs are like from the Dollar General. Um, and they were, what did we say they ended up being like $24, something like that. So for Crocs brand, that's actually really, really cheap. I think they were MSRP 40 and then he got them for 40% off. So everything there is 40% off. I don't think the clothes are 40% off. I think that's just a set price, but we really like shopping there. We got really good deals. One, oh, I think I did show you the bird feeder. Did I show you the bird feeder earlier? I don't remember. Um, we got that for down at the cabin too. Cause Scotty really likes, well, I show you guys quite often, um, we have bird feeders around here, so we feed the birds at home and I think it would be really nice for our guests to be able to watch the birds. So anyway, there are a lot of squirrels down there. That's something I didn't think about, Scotty. Lots of squirrels to get into the bird feeders, yep. but we'll see how it goes. Anyways, um, we really liked that store and they said they get new stuff every single week. So we will probably be back there cause it was a really good deal. Um, I will say the pillows that I was so excited about, we went to put those out that cut that was in the packaging the pillow was also cut and we did not see that so I'm just going to stitch it up it's going to have a pillowcase on it anyways it's not going to hurt anything but I was kind of bummed about that but still we got it for ten dollars instead of thirteen dollars so no I think it was like eight dollars we got for like eight dollars instead of thirteen dollars so still a good deal just to have to stitch it up a little bit okay I'm going to get off of here the kids are starving it's eight o'clock I'm going to throw some chicken in the oven really quick maybe the air fryer I don't know what I'm gonna do and we're just gonna have chicken strips and french fries for dinner tonight good morning happy Friday um I just got up it's 8 30 um, Riley woke me up pretty early this morning to have me check my phone to see if we had school and we did not because we did indeed get the snow they were calling for. Um, actually, when we checked this morning, there wasn't snow. There was like a super light dusting and now it's coming down very hard and it has covered. So I am glad they canceled school. I was actually thinking they might try and have us do a half day so we didn't have to make it up because we are out of AMI days. And so this is a good old-fashioned snow day and um, I think we'll have to make it up I'm not exactly sure I don't know if we get one or two freebies if you will but anyways hopefully this is our last snow of the year and it will turn into spring and we'll have a good time y'all I should have checked myself before I started filming well I'm so sorry so anyway snow day for us which means laundry day for me I gotta wash all of those blankets and bedding and everything for the Airbnb and start getting all of that prepared go down and make the beds for a final time hopefully this weekend and our first guest comes next week oh so exciting thought i'd give you guys a little snow update um there's a lot of it and it's still snowing can't really tell too much maybe if i zoom it's snowing lightly but it's so pretty but there's a lot of it <laughs> It's kind of crazy how much came today. Um, it was snowing really, really hard earlier. I should have filmed a little for you, but I was cuddled up on the couch and very comfortable. 
Hey guys, it's um, late in the evening. It's almost six o'clock. Yeah, it's 6.05. Uh, this has been like the laziest day in history. Um, thoroughly enjoyed my snow day. I did do some work earlier, <sighs> did some emails, worked on some YouTube stuff. Anyway, worked on some Airbnb stuff, but I came in here to fold these towels and I wanted to tell you guys um, when I bought these, I said, oh, they seem kind of thin. I don't really know. Um, they fluff up very nicely in the wash. So I'm actually very pleased with these towels. Um, I don't remember if it was last week's vlog or the week before when I bought these, but anyways, um, they are, I just washed the rest of the ones. This is them from Walmart. Um, I can't remember the price, almost $5, $4.57 or something like that. 497 anyway they are very nice so I just wanted to report back and I also remembered because we bought those pillows yesterday um, they're the same ones I bought a while back in a vlog I think it was I don't think it was a vlog I think I talked about it in a grocery haul and said check back in our vlog to see how we feel about these we really like them like a lot so they're $12.97 at Sam's Club for a two-pack so they're what I talked about just earlier in this video, what we picked up from Sam's Club for the for the Airbnb, um, but we really, really like those as well. And I actually have a really hard time finding a good pillow. I like a thinner pillow, but I always end up with a crick in my neck. Um, and so these, like, they're kind of memory foamy, but they're like cooling foam. I don't know what, they're like little chunks which I would not have known had that one not been slit open. Um, but it like forms perfectly to my neck and then like sometimes halfway through the night if I wake up, but definitely like the next night I'll just flip it the other way and it's like, it's perfect. I don't know. I know that seems silly, but if you've been in the market for a good pillow, give that a try. They're sort of brand. So they're, I would think pretty good lasting quality. Um, so anyway, um, that's all. I just wanted to tell you about those towels while I'm folding them. Um, I was definitely not as productive if I, as I wanted to be with getting all this stuff washed for the Airbnb. I've done two loads all day long and it's 6 p.m. But some days we just need a day like that, I guess. So anyway, I just want to tell you about these towels and everything. I'm fixing to go make dinner. I think I'm going to do potato soup just because it's a snowy cold day. And then I'm going to end this vlog because it's late and I want to edit it and get it uploaded. So anyway, there's my update on the towels in case you were curious. your potatoes till they are very tender you can um, smash them with a fork but not quite like uh, mashed potato tender see how this is giving me some resistance so you still want a tiny bit of firmness but see how cloudy the water is that's more what we're looking for and then also you're going to strain it not just out you're gonna contain the water because a lot of the water gets added back in but if you just add all your goodness to this water and then it's too much water, then you're in trouble. So, so just strain out your water into another container and reserve it to the side. Ba 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 
so now I'm just going to put it in a bowl. I mean, what else do you do with soup? There it is, the finished soup. Um, I did not mention, but I substitute, instead of three cups of milk, I do want two cups of milk and one cup of sour cream. I just think it makes it that much tastier. I omit the sugar. I omit the um, red pepper flakes, but that is the recipe I follow, and this is the end result, and the whole family loves it. Aiden came in and said, what are you making? I said, potato soup, and he was very excited. Um, I think Riley was as well, but it's a nice, cold, snowy day, so potato soup is going to really hit the spot. Holy moly, guys. It has been a busy evening. Um, I have been doing a lot of Airbnb stuff. We, well, I shared um, the post on my personal Facebook page, and then Scotty shared it, and a lot of other, how many shares did you say I had? 30-something. 30 30-something 30 shares. So, like, all of our friends are sharing it. Well, I've had four bookings today. I had to call a lady and talk to her for a few minutes or actually quite a while <laughs> and then I called my mom and then I set up a calendar because now it's like okay wow this is like getting really real so um it's 10 o'clock now 10 01 and I'm like oh my gosh I have to edit this weekly vlog and it's 10 o'clock <laughs> so I'm going to close out this vlog thank you guys so much for watching this week it has been a busy one it has been an exciting one and we have enjoyed every minute of it so thank you guys so much for coming along with us. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this week. Make sure you tune in next week because there is more and more and more still to come. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.